President Obama calls yesterday's photo op flyover by Air Force One over New York City a mistake. Now, the incident caused panic in the streets when onlookers spotted the plane being tailed by an F-16 fighter jet. And tonight we get to hear the 911 call. Fox 5's Lisa Evers is here with those... How could that be a mistake? Let me explain something. Air Force One, although it's an executive aircraft, is a part of the United States Air Force. Okay? It is a military aircraft. And that fighter jet, what is that, a private fighter jet? Okay? Uh, how could that be a mistake? He's supposed to be the commander-in-chief. Okay? He's supposed to know everything that's going on with his military. When the fucking jets were blasting the Libyan fucking planes out of the air, Ronald Reagan was in their fucking cockpit on a communicator talking to them and directing them inch by inch until he blew those, until he ordered them to blow them out of the air. Mistake. I, I think it was a mistake to elect Obama. Tonight, Lisa. Well, very nearly ever since the terror attacks of September 11th, we've all been trained to handle suspicious activity the same way. If you see something, say something. When thousands of people look... That's right. I'm a New Yorker. They keep telling us that. ...up and saw two planes in the sky, they flooded 911 operators with calls. Like they tell us to do. 
along with the all of you, and uh, it will not happen again. The White House did not notify Mayor Bloomberg directly, only an aide in his administration who approved street fares, and that aide never told the mayor. Well, I reprimanded the person that normally has done the right thing and passed on the information. This uh, you know what they're doing? It's called covering your own fucking ass. They're going to blame someone else. Oh, yes, my aide did this and my aide did that. And they did this for a photo op. Has all these geniuses in charge ever heard of something called Photoshop? You could put, you could put the, 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 the Air Force One anywhere you want. New York City, Bangladesh, the Taj Mahal, if you like. Holy fucking shit. And uh, they must have spent, what, a couple of, hum couple of million dollars? To fly over to take some pictures, and then he was he'd been asking for one point something billion dollars to help the swine flu. Hey, motherfucker, we could have saved some money on that jet fuel. And he didn't. And now one local leader is determined to make sure this never happens again. We're asking the transportation secretary to make public any kind of flyover like this 48 hours in advance to notify the appropriate New York authorities and also to notify the public. You know what? I agree with that motherfucker. Why not? The public should be notified. And then the police know and they didn't notify? Why? They didn't think we would panic? Shit, they're gonna hit my building. I remember the day that shit happened. I had the first thing they ran to the first thing I hear on the radio is there's an attack. We're under it we're under at war. I'm, think, I'm I'm trying to get out of Manhattan to go get to my son in Brooklyn. You understand? And I know, oh, well, all this crap going on. You understand? And then after I get out of Manhattan, I just barely got out of Manhattan. They closed down the roads and everything for fucking over an hour. And then how do I get? I start walking from somewhere in Queens all the way to goddamn Brooklyn and made it home in five hours. God damn, let me tell you. And then I and they don't think that, that, that people are gonna panic? Motherfucker. Now the New York City Police Department was notified, but was asked not to tell the media or the public. Wow, this woman looks like a real scary bitch to deal with. God damn, I pretty her husband. And NYPD spokesperson says if they're placed in that situation again, they will let the public know what's going on. Ah. Nigga, please! Let me tell you something. If the NYPD is put in that situation again, they'll pucker their mouths and make it round and suck a dick. Okay? Let me tell you something. First of all, Bloomberg, prick of the ages, knew about it. Okay? Bloomberg told the commission, to told the head of the police, listen, prick, don't say anything because they're telling us not to say anything and I have to suck. Obama's dick. Okay? That's what the fuck happened. Then the commissioner puckered up his lips and made them round and sucked Bloomberg's dick. And then his precinct captain all came and sucked his fucking dick. And they all shut the fuck up and said the fuck with the public. Okay? Then when they had this panic going on and it got out on the news, then all of a sudden it was, oh, if we're ever put in that situation again, we'll say something. You won't say shit. If Bloomberg tells you to shut up. So far, Bloomberg, you show some great leadership. Obama, your first year? Oh, you're doing okay. Flavio 13 out.